Hello, this is meteorologist Brad Warner with a quick update on that winter storm that's expected to affect the Dakotas and Minnesota beginning Wednesday night and lasting on into Friday. We're going to start out by just taking a quick step through on the latest model run just to see how things are timing out. And actually, they really haven't changed a whole lot since the last video that I did on Sunday, but we'll still just kind of get a look so we can have a see how things are trending at this point. We're starting out here Wednesday evening right around 6 p.m. And again, you can continue to see that rain out ahead of the storm system with the snow and the cold air on the back end. And once we get to midnight Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, again, continued rain on the front end and the snow and rain mix in between. Now, there might be little brief periods here and there. It just depends on how some of this stuff works out or some of these areas possibly within this region uh, could see just little bouts of, of freezing drizzle or even uh, some freezing rain, perhaps before it transitions uh, completely over to snow. So just keep that in mind as we go through this, that there is that little possibility as well. But for the most part, I think we're probably looking at a rain transition over to snow type of scenario. But we'll see if things change as we get a little bit closer to Wednesday night. So now progressing on by Thursday morning, 6 a.m., rain continues across eastern Dakotas on into Minnesota as well. We start to get more cold air pulled in behind this. And so that snow, that line of snow, that transition area slides just a little bit further to the east. We begin to get snow a little bit further south into parts of western South Dakota by this point as well. And then once we get to about noon on Thursday, just real slow that that's rain snow line just very slow to move eastward again continue to have rain out ahead of it a little bit more snow begins to slide on the back side of it perhaps push just a little bit further east into more central parts of south dakota 6 p.m on thursday that uh, rain snow line just creeping up to the red river valley area uh, but continued snow across central and western parts of north dakota so here we are you know we kind of start some of the snow wednesday night and we're now we're getting into thursday evening and continues to snow and it's not like we're expecting real heavy amounts of snow to come all at once it's just a fair amount of snow falling over the course of probably 24 hours going to create some areas particularly across northwestern parts of north dakota that could pick up you know several inches of snow by the time it is all said and done now, as I mentioned yesterday, we also have that possibility still of perhaps hearing a few rumbles of thunder, particularly across eastern, southeastern parts of Minnesota late in the afternoon on into the evening hours. So that could be kind of fun for some of you guys down there just to hear some thunder this time of year. Now, by midnight, Thursday night, Friday morning, as I said before, this moisture really is going to go away fairly quickly. So now we could see already beginning friday morning not quite as intense we get some of that precipitation uh, whether it be rain or snow kind of starts to dry up just a little bit that rain snow line now creeps just a little bit closer to that minnesota border by midnight once we get to 6 a.m on friday snow now begins to move into parts of western minnesota perhaps makes it just a little bit further south into southeastern uh, portions of South Dakota as well. Some of that rain now begins to kind of move on out of the state. And by noon Friday, left with uh, just some snow showers across the Dakotas, parts of Minnesota, perhaps a rain snow mix type of scenario by the time we get to noon on Friday. And that continues on into Friday evening at 6 p.m. And then overnight, Friday night on into Saturday morning by 6 a.m., you can see most of the activity has now gone away, washed away. Most of the moisture is kind of gone. And so we're just left with a little bit of flurries going on into Saturday. So if you kind of compare Sunday's video, you'll notice really not a whole lot has changed in the way of timing and the amounts and location of snow and how this whole thing tracks from uh, west to east. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is just give you a real early preliminary look of what I'm thinking as far as snow accumulations. So I'll throw in that little caveat. It is still just a little bit early as that storm system is going to actually be coming on shore tomorrow morning. So we're still a little iffy on things. But again, here's just kind of what we're thinking. Uh, an early look as to how much snow is expected at this point. Four to eight inches, again, looking at that northwestern to north central part of North Dakota. That's the main area. That's the chunk that I think has got at least the best chance of seeing some 
good measurable snow and right now we're talking in that four to eight inch mark so kind of like i said on the last video we're not expecting a ton of snow but still some areas could pick up a fair amount of snow and just going to be making travel hazardous now as we see in through this blue area kind of a wide ranged area as again we're, we're still just a little bit maybe just a little bit out there to really hone things down but everybody in this blue area we're looking at two to four inches so basically that includes you know grand forks fargo bismarck minot devil's lake Dick. In, uh, Aberdeen as well. Now I do have this area in red circled and that's because there's a little chance there's something that kind of the models are picking up on uh, perhaps going into late Thursday, Thursday evening that there might be a little bit more of an intense band of snow somewhere within this region. Not real confident on that just yet but don't be surprised perhaps if you see a little area in through here perhaps where you're seeing a four to eight inch mark as well. As I said not super confident to actually actually put it in there just yet. So just kind of maybe keep that in the back of your mind uh, for those of you kind of up in uh, from Wahala Cavalier uh, down through Devil's Lake, Rugby, Jamestown, Steel, kind of slipping down to perhaps Braddock and Napoleon as well. Now for the rest of you, again, kind of broad at this moment, we're kind of looking at that trace to two inch mark. Most of this, particularly across the south and across the east, right in through here, that's going to be coming to you late Friday and on into Saturday. And hopefully we can kind of narrow some of this down as well as we get a little bit closer so that it's not perhaps so broad between the greens and the blues here. So there you kind of got a look at where the snowfall is expected to occur. So again, let's kind of take a look at the wind gusts so we have an idea. This is Thursday night, Friday morning, Thursday night, midnight, so early Friday morning. Again, we're talking about gusts of 30, 35 miles per hour, perhaps a little bit stronger as you get to, uh, off the Black Hills there, uh, just coming, in, coming on to around Rapid City-ish. And then as we go on into Friday morning at 6 a.m., again, 25, 30 mile per hour wind gusts by Friday morning. So probably going to be causing some drifting snow, maybe not a ton of blowing snow at this point. As we get into the afternoon hours and a little bit into the evening hours Friday as well, those winds pick up in some areas, but more so down across the south. We're really not expecting a whole lot in the way of snow. So again, we're probably looking at for sure some drifting, maybe a little blowing but nevertheless, it's probably going to be causing some hazardous road conditions because just that's just what it's going to do. Obviously, you put a fresh layer of snow on the ground and it's going to blow and it's going to drift and it's going to stick to the roadways, particularly now that the roadways have been able to warm up just a little bit over the past week or so. And so we're definitely going to be expecting those slippery road conditions. Now, as we go through overnight, Friday night and into early Saturday morning, those wind gusts begin to die down. And as we go through the day on Saturday, not much, 20, 25 miles per hour, some drifting, but uh, that's really about it. And so that's the latest thinking when it comes to this little winter storm that's going to be coming through our region. Not the biggest one. Obviously, we've had better ones, bigger ones, ones with more snow, ones with more freezing rain. But nevertheless, we really haven't had a whole lot lately. So this is actually fairly significant for this year, the way things have been going. I will have the graphic that you saw here a little bit earlier right up on my social media channel so you can go ahead and check them out. And actually that's kind of a good place to check out because if anything changes, if I don't have a chance to get a video up, I'll have any changes up on my social media sites before I get a video out. So be sure you check those out as well. Uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe down below and hit the little bell button beside it. That way you're notified when I upload another video just like this to keep you updated on the latest with any winter storms or as we get into spring and summer, any severe storms as well. And at the very least, please just hit the old thumbs up button as well. All right, everybody for Region Weather Live, I'm meteorologist Brad Warner. Everybody have a good day.